Hey guys, Jim here. Today we're going to go over some pediatric echocardiography registry review questions. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question, giving you enough time to answer it. Let's get started. Question one. This image represents what? Is it A, cytosolitis, B, status inversus, C, polysplenia, or D, asplenia? I'll give you a hint. This is the zygous vein. The answer is C, polysplenia. In polysplenia, you'll have the aorta and the zygous vein on the same side of the spine. The spine is located right here. Also, you will have the stomach located on the opposite side of the liver. Typically, the liver should be on the right side here and the stomach will be over here. You won't see it in any other type of patient, but here you can clearly see the stomach. Question two, mirror imaging dextrocardia occurs when the right ventricle is anterior, the left ventricle is posterior and the apex is to the left. The right ventricle is anterior, the left ventricle is posterior, and the apex is the right. The right ventricle is posterior, the left ventricle is anterior, and the apex is to the right. Or is it the right ventricle is posterior, the left ventricle is anterior, and the apex is to the left? The answer is B. The right ventricle is anterior, the left ventricle is posterior, and the apex is to the right. This is mirror imaging dextrocardia. Question three, this patient will benefit from which of the following surgery slash procedures? Let me just play this through here. I'll read you the options. A is Rastelli, B is Norwood, C is Jatine, and D is Rashkind. This patient has double outlet right ventricle. And the best option would be to have a Rastelli procedure. Question four, which of the following is the correct blood flow demonstrated through a congenitally corrected transposition of the great arteries? Do you go from pulmonary veins to right atrium to right ventricle to aorta, inferior vena cava to left atrium to left ventricle? to pulmonary artery and then to the lungs, or pulmonary vein to left atrium, to left ventricle, to aorta, to inferior vena cava, to right atrium, to right ventricle, to pulmonary artery and then the lungs. Do you go pulmonary veins, left atrium, right ventricle, pulmonary artery, inferior vena cava, right atrium, left ventricle, aorta, and then the lungs? Or do you go to the, do you start from the pulmonary veins and then go to the left atrium, right ventricle, aorta, inferior vena cava, right atrium, left ventricle, pulmonary artery, and then the lungs. You can definitely pause the video here, giving you enough time to think about it. The answer is D. So you're gonna go from the pulmonary veins to the left atrium, then to the right ventricle, the aorta, inferior vena cava, right atrium, and then the left ventricle, then the pulmonary artery, and then the lungs. This is, this is congenitally corrected transposition of the great arteries. Question five, what does this transesophageal echocardiogram represent? Is it A, flail mitral valve, B, parachute mitral valve, C, systolic anterior motion of the mitral valve, or is it D, rheumatic mitral valve? The answer is C, systolic anterior motion of the mitral valve. You can see in this clip, in systole, the anterior mitral valve is being sucked into the LVOT tract, causing an obstruction. Question six, 
Which of the following is the correct features of congenitally corrected transposition of the great arteries? Is it A, atrioventricular concordance along with ventricular arterial discordance, B, atrioventricular discordance along with ventricular arterial discordance, C, atrioventricular discordance along with ventricular arterial concordance, or is it D, atrioventricular concordance along with ventricular arterial concordance. The answer is B, atrioventricular discordance along with ventricular arterial discordance. Question seven, which of the following is considered abnormal findings following a post-op stage two Norwood surgery? Is it A, the presence of an aortopulmonary shunt B, neo aorta pressure greater than 50 millimeters of mercury. C, cyanotic patient. Or is it D, the presence of venovenous collaterals? The answer is B, neo aorta pressure greater than 50 millimeters of mercury. Question eight. What does this ultrasound represent? Is it A, a Blaylock toxic shunt? B, Glenn shunt, C, extracardiac fontan, or is it D, intracardiac fontan? The answer is B, Glenn shunt. Question nine, which of the following is performed in surgery on patients with dextra transposition of the great arteries? Is it A, bidirectional gland, B, Blaylock toxic shunt, C, Lecomte maneuver, or is it D, modified Fontan? The answer is C, Lecomte maneuver. Question 10. This Doppler image was recorded in the patient's superior vena cava who recently underwent a Fontan procedure. What does this waveform demonstrate? Is it A, normal Doppler waveform of the superior vena cava, B, complete occlusion of the Fontan baffle, C, near occlusion of the proximal superior vena cava, or is it D, near occlusion of the distal superior vena cava? The answer is D, near occlusion of the distal superior vena cava. Question 11, double outlet right ventricle is determined by, is it A, the type of ventricular septal defect and the presence or absence of pulmonary stenosis, B, the cardiac position in the thorax cavity, C, whether cardiac development is ventricular D loop or ventricular L loop, or is it D, the rightward shift of the conus during development? The answer is A, the type of ventricular septal defect and the presence or absence of pulmonary stenosis. Question 12, the normal flow in a Fontan should be, is it A, high velocity with reduced flow velocities with expiration, B, low velocity with reduced flow velocities with expiration, C, high velocity with increase in flow velocities with inspiration, or is it D, low velocity with increase in flow velocities with inspiration? The answer is D, low velocity with increase in flow velocities with inspiration. Question 14, what structure is labeled E? Is it A, right upper pulmonary vein, B, right pulmonary artery, C, left atrium, or D, right atrium? What is E? The answer is right upper pulmonary vein. 
Which of the following is performed to treat the extra transposition of the great arteries with the VSD when the anatomy of a patient precludes the Rastelli? Is it A, the Rev procedure, B, the Soy procedure, C, LeCompte maneuver, or D, Nikaido procedure? The answer is the Rev procedure. Question 16. What structure is labeled F? Is it A, the superior vena cava, B, left anomalous vein, C, vertical vein, or D, right pulmonary artery? What is labeled F? The answer is B, left anomalous vein. Question 17. What structure is the arrow pointing to that is labeled G? Is it A, right innominate vein, B, left pulmonary artery, C, superior vena cava, or D, left brachiocephalic vein? What's the arrow pointing to? The answer is D, left brachiocephalic vein or the left innominate vein. Question 18, what type of ventricular septal defect is located at one o'clock? Is it A, supracrystal, B, inlet, C, perimembranous, or is it D, infracrystal? The answer is A, supracrystal. Question 19. What does this ultrasound represent? Is it A, a Blaylock tossic shunt, B, modified Glen shunt, C, extracardiac fontan, or D, intracardiac fontan? The answer is A, Blaylock tossic shunt. Question 20. The red doppler represents what in this patient who has total anomalous pulmonary venous return? Is it A, superior vena cava, B, vertical vein, C, left anomalous vein, or D, right anomalous vein? The answer is B, vertical vein. Question 21. In this patient with total anomalous pulmonary venous return, what does the turbulent flow represent? Is it A, a patent ductus arteriosus, B, vertical vein, C, stenotic fontan, or D, aortal pulmonary window? The answer is B, vertical vein. Question 22. Which of the following is the most common defect associated with double outlet right ventricle? Is it A, hypoplastic left ventricle, B, mitral atresia, C, R kappa, or D, anomalies of the atrioventricular canal? R kappa stands for Anomalous right coronary artery from the pulmonary artery. The answer is D, anomalies of the atrioventricular canal. Question 23. What is the most common type of great vessel relationship with double outlet right ventricle? Is it A, side by side, B, dextra position, C, levo position, or D, normal relation? The answer is A, side by side. Question 24, which of the following is not a complication with truncus arteriosus? Is it A, death from congestive heart failure, B, 
trunchal valve regurgitation that worsens over time, C, pulmonary vascular occlusive disease, or D, sudden death. The answer is D, sudden death. Sudden death is not a complication with truncus arteriosus. Question 25. Which of the following is performed to treat double outlet right ventricle when the anatomy of a patient precludes the Ristelli? Is it A, the Rev procedure, B, Yasoi procedure, C, Lecompte maneuver, or D, Nikaido procedure? The answer is D, Nikaido procedure. Well, that concludes our first 25 questions of this test. I will hurry and upload another video that will include another 25 questions as soon as possible. I'm Jim with ultrasoundbordervue.com. Thank you so much for watching.